Greetings, Grey Witch here. Today we're going to do the top speeds of all the new biker DLC motorcycles in this four-wheeler. Uh, first, you know, the Nagasaki Street Blazer. It's a pretty cool little vehicle. It's got a top speed of 180 miles per hour. It's, it's a lot of fun to ride around. I haven't really used it in any races yet, so I really don't know how, you know, the handling is besides just driving around in the streets. But it seems to be pretty cool and, you know, it's, you know, loads of fun to drive. Next is the Western Rat Bike. This one has a top speed of 183 miles per hour. It's not very fast, but you know, it's not supposed to be. It's a rat bike. You know, it's just for cruising around and just doing whatever. But it, you know, it's a pretty cool bike. It handles pretty good. But other than that, you know, it's pretty decent. Now this is the Western Wolfsbane, and I would equivocally say that this is closest to the Rat Bike. I mean, it's the same top speed, so it's basically just a clean version of the Rat Bike. And, you know, this one too also has great handling. Uh, the acceleration's kind of sluggish on it, but it is pretty cool. It looks good. It's got lots of good mods for it. You can pretty much do it how you want it. Now one of my favorites is Nagasaki Chimera. This one has a top speed of 187 miles per hour. The cool thing about a trike is the ability to handle corners better than, you know, you can in a regular motorcycle. You can take some pretty good tight corners at higher speeds, but doing stunt jumps, this thing is, is a nightmare. It, it falls like a rock. Alright, next is the Western Zombie Chopper. This one's become one of my favorites. A top speed of 198 miles per hour. I don't know, I just really like the way that this one looks. And this would probably be the bike that I would own in real life and ride around the most. I don't know, it just it just has the look that I really dig about it. Next we have the Western Zombie Bobber. It's the same kind of bike as the same before, it's a little bit faster, 200 miles per hour. This one's more of a classic look, you know. I dig this one too. I don't know, I just like these old school, old style kind of bikes like this. Pretty good bike. Next, we have the LCC Avaris. It has a top speed of 202 miles per hour, and this is also quickly becoming one of my new favorite bikes. It's just the way it looks. I mean, it's, it's just awesome looking. It handles great. You know, it's got a pretty good top speed, and the acceleration's not too bad. So it's pretty cool. Now, this one surprised me. It's the Matsubishi Manchez. It's actually pretty good speed, 209 miles per hour. I wasn't expecting it to be this fast, but you know, the handling on it's pretty good. It's a real light bike, so it'd probably be really good for stunting. I haven't got a chance to use it yet, but it does seem to be that, you know, it'd be pretty cool for that. Next is the Western Nightblade. Top speed of 210 miles per hour, and this one, I I just really dig this bike. I, I don't know why it is. I mean, the handling is great, the speed's great, acceleration's awesome. I, I guess it's just the look of it. It's just a, I don't know, awesome looking bike. And I totally dig it. Alright, so now we got the Shih Tzu Defiler. Now, this one has a top speed of 216 miles per hour. You know, it's pretty fast, and it can take corners really fast, which surprised me. I don't really like the way that it looks. It's kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't, it's not a bike that I really like the way it looks at, but, you know, it is fast. And, of course, the fastest bike, Shih Tzu Hakachu Drag. Top speed, 236 miles per hour. Just like before with the other Hakachu, it's, you know, the fastest bike. And this one is not quite as fast as the the regular Hakachu because you know you can ride the wheelies to gain the speed on the regular one. You can't ride a wheelie on this one. But that's it. So I hope this helps you out and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!